Alright, welcome back to another web development video where I'll show you how to make modern websites using HTML5, CSS3, and a little bit of JavaScript. In this video I just want to do a quick little thing that I learned not too long ago, a couple weeks ago, <clears throat> and it's about um, overscrolling. So whenever you have an overflow element, um, there's a way to sort of stop a pretty common um, occurrence. This used to happen to me a lot. I didn't know how to stop it really but I found this uh, CSS property called overscroll behavior and now I can stop the overscrolling. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I have just a sort of a basic setup here with a, a main page and then I have this panel here and that's a pop-up modal basically and um, nothing particularly interesting going on here necessarily uh, other than I have an overflow of auto on the panel so when I click on this uh, modal I'm just using a little JavaScript to um, when I click on the trigger it opens the panel fades it in and then when I click on the panel it fades it out so when I click on here it just fades in our panel and you can see that uh, it's a it's got a lot of information inside the panel itself it's pretty long uh, too long for the space that we have for the modal to take up and so <clears throat> without overflow you can see that it doesn't do anything so if there's any overflow it comes out of the box and then if I say uh, overflow is sorry if I say that the overflow is hidden then that just simply removes it from leaking outside of the box because the box has a, a height on it that's explicit so it's a height of 50 viewport heights so however tall the viewport is it's half of that and so it's only it's only gonna take up this much space so if you have more than more space than fits in the container um, and we have overflow hidden then it's just gonna hide all of that text now what we don't what we want to do is we want to get to all that text we just want it to take up a small amount of space so we need it to have some sort of scrolling uh, behavior and so if our overflow is not on there, uh, the normal thing is for it to just leak out and flow out of the, excuse me, flow out of the container. And so if we say, instead of overflow hidden, we can do, we can do overflow of auto, and that will make any, um, any text that uh, threatens to break outside of the, uh, the width, so the x-axis, is also going to get a scroll bar but any um, any text that goes beyond the height it there's gonna be a scroll bar attached and that's sort of the automatic behavior um, whenever we do auto okay so you could also make this explicit and say scroll and it would do the same thing you get a scroll bar here um, and you can also determine what you want to do on each axis. So we can say on the x-axis we want it to have a scroll bar uh, and you can see down here that a scroll bar appears and we can also say on the y-axis we want it to have a scroll bar and so there's no no scroll bar here but there is one along the y-axis on the vertical right. So <clears throat> uh, I am fine with just doing auto because most of the time auto is it lets the browser decide what to do so if there's no um, if there's no overflow then it doesn't add a, uh, a scroll bar if you have scroll I think sometimes the scroll bar will sort of show up hidden not hidden but it's just sort of showing on the outside and you know it just it doesn't look good let's try that so if we just take away a good chunk of this so that it all fits inside of our uh, inside of our modal see how it fits in there and there's a little bit of space at the bottom uh, so with auto uh, let's try it out so with auto there's no no scroll bar appears but if we put scroll <clears throat> you can see that there's a little the faintest little scroll bar appears even though there is no text for it to actually scroll uh, it does show up over here. It's just not really the look that I would be going for on a mobile device. Not so big a deal. Um, 
because on a mobile device you're not going to be able to see the scroll bar uh, but on on a desktop you will so I like to just do auto so that way if it needs a scroll bar you can have it if it doesn't need a scroll bar then it doesn't put anything so let's just put this all back so we can see our scrolling behavior <clears throat> So when we click on uh, open modal, we see our modal, and then we can scroll. Now watch what happens when I get to the end of this modal container. So you see how the background begins to move, right? Okay, so that's not exactly what we want. When I get to the end of this, of this scrolling uh, box, I want that to just sort of be it, because that's the main focus, obviously, of the page. And then when I scroll back up, you can see that also when I get to the top part of the container then it begins to scroll what's underneath as well so this is a uh, common behavior in the browser uh, but in order to stop this uh, we can use the over scroll behavior CSS property and it's one little property attached to uh, the container that has the overflow on it and so we just say over scroll not overflow behavior but over scroll and the over scroll behavior that we want to do is contain. So when it's contain, uh, that means we want to to contain any over scrolling to this container. We won't don't want it to flow out to the rest of the web page and scroll it. So when we add that, let's just save it for good measure. And then when we scroll down, we come down here to the bottom of the container. I'm still scrolling right now and nothing is happening so I'm still scrolling down um, I don't know if you can hear it but when I scroll back up again I'm scrolling up and nothing is happening and all I've added is this over scroll behavior property and so again you add that uh, think of it as going in concert with your overflow um, property and that's where you're gonna put it so don't put it on the parent element up here put it on the element itself that has the overflow uh, property on it. <clears throat> you can also use this if you look it up on uh, Mozilla Developer Network or something. You can use the overscroll behavior to be none. And you know how when you're um, when you're scrolling to the top or the bottom of a, a web page, especially on mobile, and you pull it down, there's that sort of little rubber band effect uh, that happens. If you don't want that, or uh, if you don't want people to be able to refresh the page, you know, sometimes you pull it down and you pull it farther um, down than the top of the screen and then it just refreshes the page. You can do that with uh, you know, Twitter. You can do it on lots of different social media sites to refresh your feed. Uh, you can actually stop that behavior from happening because that's uh, sort of trickled into browsers as a way to refresh the page. So I know that Chrome does that. So if you want to somehow stop that behavior, then you just do uh, over scroll behavior and none, and you add that to the body or the HTML or, or body and HTML, and then that'll stop it from being able to uh, pull, the user can't pull down on the screen and refresh the page. So if for some reason you need that behavior to happen, uh, then that's one way to stop that. And this is pretty easy, uh, just one line of uh, CSS and gives you uh, just a nicer uh, experience for the user because uh, sometimes you see this happen with the over scrolling um, just thought I, want, I wanted to share that and uh, that was a cool CSS trick uh, that I've come across pretty recently and this is a problem that I've seen in my own websites that I make with the uh, modals and so it's nice that I'll, I'll be able to stop that uh, if you have a chat window or something like that anything where there's uh, sort of layering in the website and you want to make sure that the top layer is the only thing that's active and not the bottom layers then this is a way to control those all right if you have any questions or comments uh, please leave them down in the comment section below I'll get to them as quickly as I can uh, if you have any other suggestions for some CSS tips or tricks uh, you can look into to adding those uh, these little quick videos sometimes are helpful for solving everyday problems and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please uh, click the subscribe button and then click the bell notification and you'll get notifications whenever I post new videos and also if you want to pay it forward so my videos are free 
<clears throat> but if you want to pay it forward, just simply click the thumbs up button. It helps the algorithm at YouTube to be able to say, hey, this is a, a good video. And so just click that thumbs up button and that helps me out uh, along the way and helps to grow the channel so that we can continue providing more content uh, for no charge. All right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.